Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Daryl V. I'm back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at the Flamma FX200. So Flamma had sent over the FX200 for me to check out. So you probably might have seen a previous model, and I'll have the video up here on this corner. And previously I had worked on the uh, FX100. We're going to show you how I set up my main rhythm tone using this unit. So what I like about this particular upgrade is that what we have here is we have a touch screen. So that is a very nice upgrade. So that's the first thing that I noticed. You have all your effects here. We have starting with the effects to the overdrive, amp, cab, effects loop, noise gate, EQ, mod, delay, and reverb. So what we'll do is that we're gonna be starting from scratch as always. So I'll show you the exact rhythm tone that I got from the song that you heard earlier. What we'll do is that we're gonna choose an entirely empty bank. So what we'll do, Choose it empty. So what you'll hear is basically going to show you how to get like a maybe a good tone for like metal. So we'll touch the screen here. Now that we started completely from scratch, this is completely empty. So we're going to go to amp. We're going to turn it on right over here. And then we're going to go to this drop down and we're going to choose the amp to our liking. I like to go for that 5150. And now that we hear something, you want to turn on the cab simulator. So let's turn on the cab and then we're going to Go here. So while well, we have the 5153. So not really like my favorite sound that I get with this cab. I'm more of a, you know, kind of like a old school classic, like, you know, melodic death metal type of guy. So I used the 1964 by 12. It has that dryness, which I like. So it doesn't oversaturate the distortion and it's not like going out, you know, overboard in this case. So we'll go back to amp and we're going to set it accordingly. So that's mainly the main, not, I wouldn't say it was a secret to um, like my sound. I just like to have a very, very type of dry gain coming into these multi effects unit. While we have the basics here, we're going to go to the overdrive and we're just going to choose like, you know, the typical uh, booster. So let's going to go to that drop down. Tube Screamer, let's put the volume all the way up. This is how it sounds with it off. And let's turn it on. And because we're working with digital products right here, I like to add a little bit more gain. Give that a little bit more saturation. And it's, we get to like the 36. So that's pretty much how we get like a basic metal tone using the Flamma FX200. Maybe we'll take a look at it, some amps. It's a Fryman, which would be the Friedman. So, has that rock tone. And let's choose another amp. Let's try to solo here. Solo sounds pretty good. Uh, let's go here. Cali, Texas, OD. <laughs> Oh, let's go to Cali Rec Distortion. Oh, there's the flub. And yeah, so this Flamma has it in terms of like, you know, distortion and with its basic um, setup here, I think we can get like any type of good metal tone, you know, out of this unit. Now that we set up our rhythm tone, we can actually set up our lead tone by just doing the following. So let's touch the screen one more time. We're gonna click this button over here. Actually this, 
you see these four squares. Okay, and then we're gonna go to control. And then we're gonna select the things that we want for this lead tone. So if we want, let's say we add a delay reverb and maybe a bit of uh, some EQ, press that foot switch one more time. This will activate the reverb delay and EQ. That's pretty much how we set up a lead tone. Very, very simple. And if we want to go back to the rhythm, boom. So that's the rhythm tone if we the lead. And there we have it. That's the Flamma FX 200, pretty much like in a nutshell. Thank you guys again for uh, watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. You take care of yourselves. I'll be back with a new one.